Welcome to Channel Tech Wind. In this video, let's see about Huawei IEG 8141A5 counterfeit or fake unit configuration for BSN LFTTH. Before getting into the video, if you haven't subscribed our channel, click on the subscribe button. Along with this, click on the bell icon for more updates. You can see these pictures. These are that of the Huawei IEG 8141A5 ONT, which is only the widely used branded ONU for both Railwire and BSNL. This is an imported product and the credibility or trust on this product is not much known. Only thing we know is that it is from Huawei. From the Huawei product website. Recently, a modem having the same name and the design is surfacing around. But, it does not come in a box. And, doesn't even have a charging adapter along with it. The only difference you can tell by looking is that the power LED of the original product is green, but this product has a violet LED which confirms that it is a counterfeit product. Also, the WPS and Wi-Fi buttons are actually not buttons. They are dummies. So, when you get one of these, this video will guide you in the configuration. As usual, we are plugging in through LAN. It doesn't actually work for Huawei I modems if your adapter is set to obtain IP automatically. You need to change that. For the first time, after configuration, you can set it back to obtain IP automatically. For a detailed explanation, you can see here in this video. Now, open a browser and enter the IP address to access the configuration page. For the real Huawei IEG 8141A5, the IP is 192.168.18.1. Since this is fake, it comes with the IP 192.168.100.1. The username and password for the original one is epidmin and admin ep. But, for this it is telecom admin and admin telecom enter the credentials and then login. Give exit in this window. Go to advanced configuration, LAN configuration, Layer 2 by 3 port configuration. Enable all the ports. Once it is done, you can set the laptop's network adapter back to obtain IP automatically. Next dot in one configuration, click new. PPPoE, IPv4, root, service type as internet, enable VLAN, and the enter VLAN I'd provided by ISP or LCO. The username and password is set in almost all of our videos. Three letters of the name followed by landline number followed by underscore sit at ftth.bsnl.in and the password is password. Click apply. Now a one for internet is set. Next for voice, click new, EPO, root, IPv4. Service type is VOIP. VLAN ID and the IP acquisition mode is provided by the LCO. Mostly DHCP and 1831 or 1849. Apply and the voice one is set. Now go to Olin to configure Wi-Fi. The guys created this fake product somewhat messed with the firmware. The Wi-Fi page looks distorted. When you click on advanced, you can see nothing there. Another proof that it is fake. OK. Coming back. Enter the SSID and the password and your Wi-Fi setup is done. The next is SIP for voice. Go to voice, VOIP basic configuration delete the user which is already there. Now enter the server addresses. It is 10.187.7.12 for Tamil Nadu. It differs for other states. If your VLAN is 1849, it is th.fttth.ims.bsnl.in for Tamil Nadu. And also differs for other states. 
Enter the address in the respective places and select the signaling port and the media port which is the voice one we configured earlier. Select region as India. Now, give new. Enable user. Enter the registration username and authentication username which is the same, 91 followed by area code followed by landline number, and the password given by ISP or LCO, apply and the configuration is done. You can see the WAN status is disconnected because I've unplugged the fiber cable plug it and the status turns to connected. And the VOIP status also. Plug in the fiber, and, the error status will be gone. If you like the video, click on the like button. And for more videos don't forget to subscribe our channel. If you have any doubts please comment down here. Thank you.